Puppies for sale. A sign above a shop read, Puppies for sale. Signs like these have a way of grabbing the attention of the children. A small boy, upon seeing the sign, entered the shop asking, How much are you selling the puppies for? The store owner said, Anywhere from $30 to $50. The little boy removed all the money he had from his pocket, I have $2.37, he said. Can I please look at them? The shop owner smiled and whistled. From the kennel, five cute puppies ran out. One puppy was lagging considerably behind. Pointing at the dog the little boy asked, what is wrong with that one? The shopkeeper explained, the hip socket of the puppy is missing. At least that is what the veterinarian said. It will never walk properly again. The little boy cheered with excitement, that is the puppy that I want to buy. You don't have to buy that dog. You can have it for free. The little boy was upset. He looked up at the shop owner and said, I don't want you to give him to me. That dog is of equal worth as the rest of the dogs. I'll give you $2.37 now, and 50 cents a month until I have him fully paid for. The shopkeeper replied, are you sure you want this dog? It is never going to walk, run or play with you. The little boy lifted one side of his pants up exposing his crippled legs supported on a big metal brace. He looked up at the shop owner and softly replied, Well, I don't run so well myself, and the little puppy will need someone who understands. The next story. The marble statue. In the middle of a beautiful city, there was a museum laid with beautiful marble tiles and with a huge marble statue as a part of the display. Many people from all over the world visited the museum every day and admired the beautifully crafted statue. One night, the marble tiles started talking to the marble statue. Marble tiles, hey statue, don't you think that it is just not fair that everybody from all over the world come all the way here to admire you while ignoring and stepping on me? Marble statue, my dear brother, marble tile, don't you remember we are actually from the same cave? Marble tile, yes. I do, that is why I feel it is even more unfair. Both of us were born from the same cave and yet the world treats us so differently now. This is so unfair. Marble statue, yes you are right my brother. But, do you still remember the day when the sculptor tried to work on you but you resisted his tools? Marble tiles, yes, I despise that guy. How could he use those nasty tools on me? Marble statue, well, since you resisted his tools he couldn't work on you. When he decided to give up on you, he started working on me instead. I knew at once that I would be something different and unique after his efforts. I bore all the painful tools he used on me and allowed him craft me as he wanted. Marble tiles, but those tools were so painful. Marble statue, my brother, there is a price for everything in life. Since, you decided to resist and gave up halfway, you can't blame anybody who steps on you now. Dot. The marble tiles silently listened to his brother's words and started to reflect on it. Moral, the harder the knocks you go through in life, the more you learn and put them to use in the future. Do not be discouraged by setbacks and failures. Keep trying to be better. The next story. I wish you enough. I overheard a father and daughter at an airport in their last moments together. They had announced her plane's departure, and standing near the door, he said to his daughter, I love you, I wish you enough. She said, Daddy, our life together has been more than enough. Your love is all I ever needed. I wish you enough, too, Daddy. They kissed goodbye, and she left. He walked over toward the window where I was seated. Standing there, I could see he wanted and needed to cry. I tried not to intrude on his privacy, but he welcomed me in by asking, did you ever say goodbye to someone knowing it would be forever? Yes, I have, I replied. Saying that brought back memories of expressing my love and appreciation for all my dad had done for me. Recognizing that his days were limited, I took the time to tell him face to face how much he meant to me. So I knew what this man was experiencing. Forgive me for asking, but why is this a forever goodbye? 
I asked. I am old, and she lives much too far away. I have challenges ahead, and the reality is, her next trip back will be for my funeral, he said. When you were saying goodbye I heard you say, I wish you enough. May I ask what that means? He began to smile. That's a wish that has been handed down from other generations. My parents used to say it to everyone. He paused for a moment and looked up as if trying to remember it in detail, he smiled even more. When we said, I wish you enough, we were wanting the other person to have a life filled with enough good things to sustain them, he continued and then turning toward me he shared the following as if he were reciting it from memory. I wish you enough sun to keep your attitude bright. I wish you enough rain to appreciate the sun more. I wish you enough happiness to keep your spirit alive. I wish you enough pain so that the smallest joys in life appear much bigger. I wish you enough gain to satisfy your wanting. I wish you enough loss to appreciate all that you possess. I wish enough hellos to get you through the final goodbye. He then began to sob and walked away. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you very much.